Neil Blomkamp, the man be behind District 9, the social science fiction drama about race relations, is back. He has returned with Elysium. Elysium is a science fiction action drama starring Matt Damon that deals essentially with the idea of the rich getting richer, the poor getting poorer, and the distribution essentially of healthcare. Matt Damon stars as a former car thief, orphan, and all around anti hero who's trying to turn his life around. At the beginning of the movie, he's stopped being a criminal, he's got a job which he's trying to keep, but he finds himself irradiated and dying and the only place where he can be cured is the floating orbital station Elysium where all the rich people live above the squalor of the now desolate planet Earth. As a mentor Matt Damon was raised by particularly a nun who told him that he had some sort of special destiny ahead of him which he has absolutely failed to live up to at this point in his life, as well as a former girlfriend named Frey, who was another orphan he grew up with, who is essentially his moral compass in this movie. Frey has a daughter who is also sick and also needs to get to Elysium to live. Along his journey, Matt Damon is aided by a former fellow car thief named Julio, who is essentially his former best friend, who is still a car thief and is also incredibly loyal to Matt Damon, as well as an individual named Spider, who's the man who could get Matt Damon to Elysium, but for a price. And the price is, of course, one last job. And now your movie begins. Your villains, and there are two, essentially you begin with Jodie Foster as the Secretary of Defense of Elysium. And I wasn't impressed with Jodie Foster in this movie. She is overacting to the point where if she had mustaches, she would be twirling them. It's not the best Jodie Foster performance I've seen. And then you have the guy who played the main character in District 9 returns as one of the villains of Alicia, an agent named Kruger. Now, Kruger is a badass. He is evil. He is psychotic, demented, and very well acted, very well acted. Um, along with Kruger, Kruger has a few henchmen that help him out. The actors, I don't know them, didn't recognize them. They do a pretty good job in the film. Okay, so your upside. The upside is the special effects are very realistic looking, quite similar to what you saw in District 9. Most of the acting, with the exception of Jodie Foster, is top-notch. The story is pretty decent, pretty decently paced. The action is just plain awesome. Your downside the acting of Jodie Foster, and the truth is, the way the story unfolds, it's a little morally heavy-handed. It kind of rams the issue that it's dealing with, this idea of health care and who gets it and who doesn't. It rams it down your throat. Depending on what side of the health care issue you're on, it could be preaching to the choir and it could be it could be just going right against your own political beliefs, but the heavy-handedness of it is the downside. Okay, now for me, this movie was an easy, easy, it's, a, it's not that easy. It's a four and a half star movie, but I don't give half stars. So for this movie, I have to give it five stars because it's just too good. For that one bad performance and that overwrought message to bring it down. The acting is too good, the special effects is too good, and frankly it's just too much fun. So for me, Elysium is a five-star movie.